So, why are we here today? This is why we're here. What is that? These are these these are drumstick pencils. <laughs> Every time you say it, I laugh. This was a very thoughtful gift that I got from my mom uh, several years ago. Yeah. And I have yet to open up this package and use these pencils because if I open it up, then I have to use the pencils, and uh -huh. they don't have a an eraser on them because of the tip of... Well, drummers don't make mistakes. <laughs> that was actually pretty good. That was pretty good. <laughs> Musicians can be super picky, so if you're trying to buy a gift for a musician, we're going to try to point you in the right direction. <laughs> can we edit in some drum sound effects for that? Uh, I think, I mean, yeah, you should just... Oh. <laughs> Why are musicians notoriously hard to shop for? Every little piece of gear that musicians use is so particular. Yeah, it's kind of like trying to buy somebody underwear and you don't know what kind of underwear they wear, but it's, yeah. very, it's like very personal to yeah. a musician. And that you could be researching for days, yeah. trying to figure out, is he gonna like that, is he gonna like that? Yeah. I get you. Okay. So we, we've all got right. three main rules. Okay. And our Shoot first them. one is going all the way from like that $100 mark all the way down to like stocking stuffers. Number two is that there's no like instrument specific or talent level. Doing some research on this, had seen a bunch of lists of ideas for musicians and they're all pretty awful. Because they're freaking getting paid and that's the third criteria. We're yeah. not getting paid by any of this stuff. It's, it's things that we actually use or would want gifted. Yeah. What's the, what's first on the list? All right, the first thing seems like a cop out, but if you use this specific gift card, it will make that musician in your life so impressed that you actually know what this is. I know where you're going. Yeah? Yeah, reverb.com. Yeah! Any musician that like buys and sells gear these days is gonna be looking at a couple of websites. Reverb is definitely one of them, and it's like the indie version. Let's say that you want to buy a really nice guitar. You could just apply that gift card to whatever instrument or piece of gear that you're looking at buying, whether it be new, used, or some vintage, super rare thing from Germany, because it's a worldwide website. A reverb gift card, you could do any amount. You can actually just like email. Yeah, one if, of the e if it's a last second gift. Yeah, bam, right there. You can really uh, say, I want this to go towards your craft, I support. Your, mm -hmm. your lifelong endeavor to be a musician, which goes a long way. What's number two? This is an iClip iPhone holder, and it seems so mundane, but we use this every day at the studio. There are tons of different cheap options, super expensive options. Sure. I think this runs about 40 bucks, which seems really steep, but this is the most robust I've ever owned. If you go downtown Nashville, 90% of the people are using this exact Clip. Yep. Just really versatile for any musician that wants to use it because it's made specifically for that same size as a mic stand. But luckily for everybody else, it's also the same size as normal sides of the table can be. So it's really versatile and you use it for practicing, live streaming, recording, making TikToks, and it's actually in the same spot. But you could use it for just about anything you would use a phone for and need it to be just in place. Number three, the rock and roller card. The rock and roller card. It was probably my least favorite purchase that I've had to make. It's probably been the best investment of any of these that, that I've made. Yeah, it's pretty versatile. It can be maneuvered in so many different styles that you can use it as just like a hand truck, as a dolly, um, as a dolly with arms, and then change the size of it. So I've got mine set to exactly the pieces of gear that I put on that cart mm -hmm. so that it's always the same. And then you fold it up and the small footprint yeah. just fits right in the car. I'm able to put all the gear that I need for any downtown gig with that cart in my trunk. I mean, we've done gigs where we have to load speakers in and out and oh, we put yeah. stuff on top of there. You just you never know as a musician when you need a dolly and when you need one you freaking will pay a million dollars to have yeah. one. <laughs> That's our most expensive item on the entire list. I've used a bunch of different actual carts or luggage carriers and this is the only one that hasn't broken. I guess that means a lot coming from a drummer too because all your stuff is so heavy it has to roll. Yeah. Yeah. It's not a not a fun instrument. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. 
it. Sounds, that's that's so <laughs> so good. Because I have my throat coat. Anywhere that you're going to be looking for a regular tea, this is all over the shelves and no one realizes how incredible it is. It can be a lifesaver if you're singing and you've got a cough. This is going to get you through a performance. And it's caffeine free. Uh, as a drummer, I can't have jitters. If I have jitters, I'm going to start rushing the tempo. Uh, and, that's and true. Yeah, you already got your nerves going before a show. Maybe you yeah. want to... We've both been on the road with people that have been on The Voice one American Idol, and every single one of these people swears by this tea. Yep, and it's cheap. It's cheap, yeah. I think we're looking at about five bucks. Oh, yeah. I gotta look it up. I don't look it up. And it's pretty cheap. It's like seven dollars. Yeah. It's also not just singing. You kind of underestimate how much you wear your voice out talking. A lot of musicians will just chug bourbon or straight liquor so it'll actually numb the mm -hmm. vocal cords, which is pretty bad for you. And this does it, does it in a safe way. Also, just like a side note, please, please know that what the difference between I wore my voice out and I'm actually sick. Yeah, this is not going to cure COVID. <laughs> oh, God, if we just started another... You can't sniff a bag of throat coat or, or, or inject it into your... <laughs> inject throat coat. You can't. It's not like sunlight. Uh, what's number five? Number five is eargasm. He did what now? Eargasm. Earplugs. <laughs> okay. It's probably one of the most uncomfortable words I've had to say on camera, but not the worst thing I've had to do. <laughs> That's fair. So if you've ever used earplugs, you know right away that your ears just sound muffled. <laughs> and you can't really understand anything that you're hearing, and you certainly wouldn't want to wear that to any type of concert or live event and be able to enjoy it. So the, the cool thing about the Eargasm earplugs is that it reduces the decibel level by 16 dB without pulling out any EQ curves in your ears. Oh, it's like a freaking volume knob. Yeah, exactly. Ah. You can use those for on stage, or you can go to a concert and not seem like an old fart. You don't have to stand way in the back. That's exactly right. And I think normally they're about 40 bucks list. It comes in a really cool little case that unscrews that you can put on your keys or yeah. put on your stick bag, put on your guitar case. And then it actually comes with two different sizes of actual earbuds. One's smaller and one's larger. Maybe you're using the larger ones and you're taking your girlfriend to the concert and you can offer, hey, here you go, here's some. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, yeah. I know you have petite ears, baby. Yeah. That's the gift that keeps on giving is a compliment <laughs> right there. You got some small ears. Let me get that special size for you. <laughs> Between 25 and 40 bucks, pick a color, and you get two pairs and the case. It's very thoughtful because you're also trying to protect that person that you care about. You're protecting their hearing. You're also saying, Get out and go see some music or go play on stage. That's awesome. Very encouraging. Yeah. Or maybe you get them for yourself because... Their music sucks. That's, you know. <laughs> all right, so what, what do we got next? It's a guitar boat in the sense that it's not a boat at all. It's just a multiple guitar stand made by Hercules. If I go to a gig and I have some Hercules stands, I'm in for a, a trustworthy guitar hanging experience, and that's very important for a musician. So this Hercules stand is not a hanging stand. It's just you put it down there and it leans up against it. And they actually come in three guitar and five guitar. Yeah, the cheap, it's obviously it's cheaper for less instruments. Um, this one's pretty cool because you can move the uh where the headstock rests on the oh, case cool. a little bit cool. so sometimes it's harder to adjust for based on how big the body is whether you want to put one acoustic and two electrics or two electrics and one bass or whatever and you just want them to to line up in the right spot you can fold it up it's, yeah it's, it's really yeah small. easy storage if you don't want to uh display all your instruments at one time if your roommate or your your significant other doesn't want your habit thrown mm -hmm. all over the house can go ahead and pack that thing and shove it under your bed or whatever. It's easy to travel with if you want to take it to a gig because you're such a great guitar player. You need three different guitars to, yeah. to switch through throughout the show. Seventy three ninety nine for the which Hercules seems 
expensive, but I'm telling you, if you've ever broken an instrument, it's freaking heartbreaking, and you're buying somebody insurance, kind of. Mm -hmm. It's and a lot cheaper than a $2,500 guitar. A guitar player will be very impressed that you bought them a Hercules stand and not the cheapest thing you could find on Amazon. Right. They are well worth the money. Do you have a snark back there? Yeah. So I actually put this on the list, and I wasn't sure if he still had one on his guitar. Hey, do you have a snark? Yeah. Every respe respectable musician has one of these little clip-on tuners hanging around somewhere, and this is just a great, cheap, reliable brand. It's like, what, 15 bucks for one of yeah. these things? And there's different types of, of snarks that you can get if you want it to be able to have, like, a little microphone inside or read it from a vibration. I've seen uh, people use it on violins, mandolins, banjos, bass, obviously guitar, and um, you can actually use it on drums. Drummers don't tune their drum kit. Yeah, this is a great stocking stuffer. 15 bucks. It will be useful whether or not they want to use it on stage or just have it mm -hmm. hanging around at the house. Even if they have one, you want another one. They, you lose them all the time. Jason Isbell stole my snark one time, and that's another. That's a story for another day. That's that's the most fame you're ever. Yeah, my, watch, watch your feet. He's dropping names. Hello. <laughs> Get a, get, a, get a snark. They're cheap and they're awesome. Oh, it's actually oh, so, that's, okay. That's a satisfying isn't sound. That, isn't that a cool sound? Yeah, yeah. So this is a JBL clip. Just a very small, like size of a hockey puck, Bluetooth speaker, water resistant. Uh, the new ones, I believe, are actually waterproof. Oh. Um, the the clip two actually comes with a an attached a dangle for your dongle a dangle for your dongle eighth inch that is pretty TRS convenient. cable so it's actually a stereo signal great sound quality a little USB connection for charging this wraps back up so you don't have to worry about cables getting in the way or remembering a cable yeah that's convenient and it folds back into itself and then that can just hang on your backpack and you can have it whenever you need. This is the Clip 2. Uh -huh. They're on the JBL Clip 4 right now. Cool. And I'm still using the 2 because it's been just awesome. Right now, I think the JBL Clip 3s are running about 50 bucks. The brand new JBL 4s, I believe, are about 75. For what you're getting, the best option for the money. And you want to be a, kind of be okay if it accidentally gets dropped or, yeah. you know, it's it's going to be on the road, so there's a little wear and tear. Yeah, back. I've got some road rash on the carabiner, and it's, it's it still, still works. JBL Clip, like I said, anything from the 2 on up to the 4, Great idea. This is my most recent purchase, and I had to put it on the list because I've been using this so much at the house. This is an on-stage laptop mic stand. The company's called OnStage. Yeah, the brand is OnStage. Yeah, it's, it's a little confusing. What it is is actually just a laptop stand that fits on top of a mic stand. So here we've got a small little desk. Desktop mic stand. Mic stand, yeah. And then you screw that in. Out of nowhere, now you have a laptop stand that you can adjust the height of. Sliders on the side so that you can make it tighter around your uh, laptop. You could put a mixer on here. Yeah. Or some kind of MIDI controller that you needed elevated. And just about every musician already has mic stands around. Yep. If they're doing any type of home recording or producing so they always have something that they could put this on top of sure or let's say you want to you want to have a zoom call and throw that on the and yeah it a little and then higher. finally get your like that you know that height that oh yeah everybody wants you could actually just throw this flat like i had in the back of my backpack right mm -hmm. next to my computer so if i'm pulling my computer out this is right next to it also i think this is 19 bucks no brainer you ready for the next one yes i've got KZ in-ear monitors. In-ear monitors are for musicians that are playing live shows and they actually have their mix instead of being beamed to them from a speaker in front of them mm -hmm. and causing feedback, it's actually going to their 
in-ears. More and more stages, at least downtown Nashville, are switching to full in-ears. There aren't wedges on top because it makes sure that the actual overall stage volume is lower, so it's easier for an audience member to be closer to the stage without getting blown out by feedback yeah. or just yeah. overall volume. And one of the big things about having in-ear monitors is that they create what's called a seal. So it seals off the mm -hmm. rest of the volume that's coming into your ears. Yeah. And so when that happens, you can actually play a smaller amount of volume from the in-ear monitors so it's not as much volume hitting your yeah. ears and damaging your hearing. You can go down a long road on trying to figure out, are they ever gonna use these? And the answer is probably, and the price point will justify that purchase because in-ear monitors can be anywhere from 300 bucks to over a thousand dollars to get them actually molded to your ear and these things aren't molded but they do have separate speakers inside mm -hmm. of them so they, they're going to sound better than just some crap ten dollar yeah. things that you get on amazon a lot of these cheaper headphones are just one or two different drivers in there that's where the, the noise is coming from and they operate on different frequencies mm -hmm. basically the more expensive the more drivers that there are mm -hmm. um, and the better that the sound is going to be theoretically yeah I'm gonna blow your mind. Oh, you better, you better not. You better not. So, with these generic in-ears, obviously it comes with a bunch of different types of the buds, so you can try out different ones and uh -huh. decide which one actually fits your ears sure. the best. That cable is actually interchangeable, so if you wanna get a more robust cable, you can buy a more robust yeah. cable. Or if your cable breaks, you're, you don't have to throw the whole pair of headphones away. Super convenient. Any type of these models have been great. Just so many reviews, especially from drummers, as the best affordable option for in-ears that will fit anybody's ear and that will be the best sound and the best seal mm -hmm. for the money. The AS10s, I, I believe, are 60, and the AS12s, I think, are 75. Any of them will be useful. Mm -hmm. So hopefully this will give you some good gift ideas for your musician, friend, or family member. We're gonna put all the links to the products in the description below. If you like these Gearbox episodes, we got a whole bunch more on the playlist. Stay tuned for more live shows because that's really what we do here. Thank you guys so much for watching because no matter where you're watching from, when you're here, you're with the band. I'm Ryan Fowler. I'm Rob Bar Guitar. We'll see you later. Suck. UK is the company, www.suck.uk.com, which I'm not sure. I, I am not. That's going to be the riskiest click. Don't go to the website to buy them. Don't buy them. This item is not on our list of things to buy. Sorry, Ryan's mom.